Case study research does require a certain skill set, so let's look at that. So what sort of skills are you going to need to be a case study investigator? Well, if you're going to be interviewing particularly or even doing phenomenological research, that's just looking. Uh, listening without prejudice is key. Listening refers to the collection and consumption of information, spoken, written, etc. It is impossible to completely outside a study, but you need to recognise your bias. Use multiple sources to challenge your assumptions. So try not to prejudge what's going on and just absorb it. You have to be rigorous, but you've got to try and re avoid rigidity. You'll need to be flexible as studies never pan out quite how you expect. Be prepared to change procedures, design and even the research question. Maintain your rigour, documenting everything as you go. And you've got to rework where necessary. And you've got to be open to contrary findings and engage with critical friends. Be challenged, be accepting of those challenges. Now, Gadama examines what it is to understand in his work. Uh, our interpretation of anything we read, write, listen to is always goal oriented. We seek to understand for a reason which influences our construct, our propositions. It influences the way we think about what we see and hear. We cannot start analysis of a point of view being outside of the world because you're somebody inside the world. Understanding emerges in the engagement between individuals and ideas, and that's what Gadam calls the dialogue. In attempting to understand any phenomenon, we've got to apply what we call the concept of mercy. And that's the idea that you're likely wrong in your presumptions, your prejudices and your initial understanding. And it takes time to develop that. So read this piece of text and tell, tell me, what do you notice? What do you take away as important from this piece of text? What do you know about the individual? And from that, what have you assumed? Have you assumed gender? Have you assumed political affiliation? Have you assumed that it's their house, that they are playing golf and not just working there, that they smoke or have pets, or are they doing these things for someone else? Horizontalization or equality holds that no element is more important than any other. You have to be aware of your assumptions, your bias or your prejudice, as they will lead you. You need to find and be led by evidence and you might need multiple sources because you can see how misleading a quote like this might be.